For this video, we will be fitting our barrel to our frame. And what I mean by barrel to frame is we're going to be cutting these lugs here in order to fit it to the frame to line up the frame's feed ramp and the barrel and to get proper lockup uh, when your slide stop is installed. So put the, put the slide on the frame here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you can see through the hole there, but it doesn't look like it's all the way in it, what would be in battery, right? It's too, it's too far back. So we need to get it forward enough so where the uh, thumb safety would engage, but then you look through the hole there where it should be and you'll see that barrel lug in the way. So we're gonna cut that and there's a special tool that's made just for cutting that lug and that's what we're gonna use. First, we're gonna have to get the thumb safety to fit in there. It's oversized so we're just gonna have to take down that uh, just the size of that pin to get it to fit in there because that's going to be that's going to be how we gauge if it's forward if we get the the slide forward enough we're going to need to get the slide forward enough to be able to engage that thumb safety and then we'll know that we've cut the barrel lugs far enough so first thing get this to fit and then we'll hook up everything and start cutting those lugs so what we're going to need tools wise is we're going to need a punch to be able to drive out the pin that holds on the barrel link so we need that barrel link out of the way before we can cut those lugs bench block will help immensely with that task regular hammer because that pin is in there nice and tight um, parts wise barrel link kit may or may not need that depending on how much we have to cut those lugs and, and the length uh, we're just going to have to try a couple different barrel links uh, thumb safety slide release and then we got the barrel lug cutting kit here it comes with this little handle that helps push that pushes the slide forward as we're cutting it a little crank handle uh, I'll show you all this when we use it, but this holds the barrel in place and then the actual little cutters for the barrel lugs and then sandpaper, which we're going to use that to take down the size of that pin. So, all right, I'm going to tackle sanding this pin down. I'll just grab it in the, in the vise with some soft jaws and use some sandpaper and just work that by hand for a bit and uh, get that thing fit to the frame. All right, thumb safety mounted in some soft jaws and a vise, some strips of uh, 220 sandpaper, and we're just gonna sand away at it for a little bit. It's not too much bigger than the hole. You just need to take it down a little bit. Um, shouldn't take too long, but this part will be boring, so I won't make you watch. Okay, after about uh, not even 10 minutes sanding, I did 220 and I did 320 and I did a little bit of 400 just to smooth it out. Trying to fit it in there like butter. So this fits good. The only thing that uh, may be different on yours, if you were to do it, is that little. Uh, let me get something here. That little area in there. Um, sometimes that's a little bit too narrow for your frame. You'll just have to take a little bit off of that, widen it up, so you'll be able to en engage it all the way. This one seems to fit good. I probably will take a file and just smooth that area out a little bit. Um, maybe not right now, but uh, when I start to finish up, uh, 
I'll probably smooth that out just a little bit but uh, yeah seems to fit good so now we can see how far we're gonna have to go forward let me put this all together here so see that's as far forward as it'll go and we're nowhere near being able to get that thumb safety engaged so we'll cut those lugs and uh, when we get it all set up it'll just put forward pressure on the slide as we're cutting those lugs and we'll keep this here and as soon as we can get the thumb safety engaged we'll know we've uh, we've cut enough so we can get everything all set up and I'll show you how this lug cutter works all right part one of uh, getting this thing set up to cut the lugs uh, you'll notice that I've taken out the barrel link and pin uh, so we'll just take our barrel slide it into our slide we use our little uh, lug locking block here make sure we got everything centered and then this that comes with the barrel cutting kit keeps the barrel all the way up in the locked position so basically we slide this in where the guide rod and, and uh, plug would go and this little allen bolt tighten that down and it pushes up against the bottom side of the barrel and keeps it all the way up in the locked position uh, so we don't need a bushing or anything for this process so slide that in there and we're going to make sure that we get it nice and centered we don't want it pushing one side or the other even though we have that locking block in there we just want to make sure that it's centered so. It is not centered. Back it up. Let's and tight pushing that barrel up all right so that part's set up next <clears throat> we have to set up the frame which is easy we have this which is the uh, the slide pushing tool this is going to be held in with the thumb safety that we fit. So we're going to start the thumb safety through in that little hole there. Oops, just line it up. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. There we go. So that's in there. So this is what's going to be pushing forward on the slide while we are cutting those lugs. So now take that off. Okay, so now uh, 
we get our cutter. So we got the little uh, little crank handle here, your actual cutter, and the little other end piece that acts like a little bearing on the end of the cutter. So this kit comes with two size cutters. It's a .186 and a .195. We're going to be using the .186. So your little cutter just goes into this little hole here. And there's a little Allen head that uh, like to back out first. All right. The cutter goes in there. Tighten up the little Allen head. And then this goes through where your slide catch would go. And on the other side there, the little end pokes out and you stick that on there. So we'll get it in a vise and basically this push forward on that, pushes the slide forward. We crank this going to the rear, crank in that direction clockwise as you're looking at it until we get the slide forward enough where we can engage the thumb safety. All right. I'll get this all set up in the vise and we'll go from there. Okay, got it all set up in the vise now. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to put some cutting oil or, I mean, you can use grease or uh, something just to save, save these cutters. So I'm going to use some cutting oil. Stick it on there. Put that bad boy through there. Line it up on the other side. We start pushing forward on that. And we just start cranking. And crank a little bit and pull it out. Clean it. May not seem like it, but we are making a little bit of progress here.
Look at that. All right. So we are probably done cutting the lugs here. There is one thing that we will have to check. The alignment of. But we'll have to pull it out of the vise to do that. So let me get this thing cleaned up. Pull it out of the vise and we'll see if we're good to go. Okay, so it's out of the vise. The only thing that we need to check is that when our slide's at rest with our uh, thumb safety engaged right there, we're going to have to look down in there. And you know what? I don't know. We'll be able to see this. Hold on. Let me get a flashlight. Alright. So that hole down at the bottom there. That's the hole where the disconnector pokes up through. And we just need to make sure that that hole on the frame matches up with this little divot ramp here. So that hole can't be forward of that. It can't be back of that. It can't be right on the edge, the front edge of it. It just needs to be in the dip of that little divot in there. So you might not be able to see it. I can tell that it's good, but there's a couple ways that you can do it. I mean, you could take a scribe if you wanted to and stick it down in there and just kind of make a little mark. I don't know if I even marked it or not. But yeah, see, you can see that little mark in there. So we're good. Um, the lugs fit. So now I'll we'll need to check the barrel links and get a barrel link that fits. We'll try the one that came on it. Um, we did do a little bit of adjustment, so I don't know that that one will work, but we've got five different sizes, different lengths of uh, barrel links. We'll find one that uh, works and gets everything locked up and unlocked in the correct fashion. Um, if we can't find one that fits, we may have to modify the back end of the lugs a little bit, take down that a little bit. Um, just depends on a couple different things, but we'll we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it. So uh, all right, pick back up once we get the barrel link on. Okay, so I ended up using number one barrel link. Uh, number three, I believe, is standard. Number one, a little bit shorter. This is the one uh, that worked for me, though, in, uh, in this frame. So the one thing I did have to do that I didn't get on film is I had to adjust the, the lugs on the barrel. Once I got it all together, it was a really tough lockup. So I had to just take down some of the diameter of uh, the lugs and get everything nice and smooth so you see layout die and you see it's a lot shinier than it was so um, that's really the only thing I had to do after cutting those those bottom lugs is just uh, take take the uh, lug file file in there kind of opened it up a little bit and then took down these little raised areas in there and used layout die found a couple high spots and that's it. So now we can put this thing together. gauges. So theoretically, well actually let's do it. Let's throw the guide rod 
and spring in here. This is from a different 1911 of mine. Bear with me here. All right, there we go. So, there we go. Goes into battery. Able to engage thumb safety. Lock the slide back, send it forward. Okay, progress. Um, so, any lessons learned on this? Uh, I guess that's pretty straightforward. It's just uh, once you get that barrel, it's gonna, you're gonna be able to get the, uh, you cut those bottom lugs, you'll be able to get the thumb safety on. And then when you put it all together, it's going to stick like right here. And you're gonna, you can force it into battery. And you're going to wonder, damn, what the hell? What's wrong with this thing? But, yeah, it's just those lugs, the top lugs that made up with the lugs on the inside of, of the slide. You just have to adjust those a little bit. And uh, then you're in there. So, uh, yeah next video I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit our beaver tail grip safety and along with that we're gonna have to fit our trigger yeah so trigger first just fitting the trigger in there because we have to mate up the rear of the beaver tail safety in there uh, and then we'll cut the cut the tangs for the beaver tail grip safety so I will see you next time.